Welcome back, everybody, to my mini art talks. Um, today, I am going to show you a work by one of my favorite painters, Frida Kahlo. And actually, let me show you even here. I have this lovely little necklace that my friend Joanne gave me because I have done talks on Frida quite a bit. And I like to uh, culturally appropriate just a tiny little bit when I talk to her. Um, now, I'm not going to show you um, some of her most famous uh, works, which are uh, her portraits. Here, here's a, a photograph of her. And you know she's known for her wonderful unibrow and her very flamboyant jewelry, her ubiquitous cigarette. Um, but I'm not going to show you one of her um, uh, self-portraits. I'm not going to talk about it, even though those are um, the things that we associate with, with uh, Frida the most. Um, but I'm going to talk about a different painting. But let me just tell you a little bit, a uh, tiny little bit about her. She was born in 1907 in Mexico, and she only lived until 1954. And her life was really marked by a lot of uh, pain and agony, uh, physical pain and agony, um, that resulted from a, a terrible uh, bus accident she was in when she was a teenager. And also a lot of mental uh, agony as well due to um, uh, her marriage to her husband, whom she loved very much, Diego Rivera. But she once said, I had two tragedies in my life. One was the bus accident and the other was Diego. But what the uh, painting I am going to talk to you about today is this one. Uh, it is called My Dress Hangs There. And it was um, painted in 1933. And it is now at the Hoover Gallery in San Francisco. So I'm going to uh, tell you uh, a lot about this work. I'm going to make myself a little bit smaller here so that I don't obscure the image for you. So this painting was done when uh, Frida was in New York City. She was there because she was relatively unknown as a painter then. Her husband, of course, had far greater fame than she did. And she was in New York because he had gotten a commission to paint a mural in Rockefeller Center. And that's a whole nother story too. The, the uh, mural was eventually destroyed by um, uh, uh, Nelson Rockefeller on orders from his father because it contained um, uh, pictures of, uh, of Marx and Lenin and, and uh, that didn't sit very well with the Rockefellers. But that's a whole other story. But we can see that it's New York City. Look at here. We Up here in the top we have the Statue of Liberty in Ellis Island. We have the Island of Manhattan. You have the, the water towers which of course are, are very famous. And in this painting um, Frida is really giving us her manifesto, a manifesto of, of her political uh, ideals. She is saying in here that American capitalism is responsible for the pain and the misery um, that is happening in uh, New York during the Depression, because this is 1933 after all. She's saying that society is decaying and that fundamental human values are decaying along with it. And she's uh, showing us um, all kinds of symbols that, um, that indicate that. And in the middle is her dress. The painting is called, after all, My Dress Hangs There. Not one of her famous self-portraits, but just her dress. And let's look at some of, of the other uh, symbols, because we see a lot of icons of a modern industrial society. We see these gas pumps here. We see steamships delivering people and goods. There's even a, a telephone. And of course, the smokestacks and the factories um, that symbolize uh, modern uh, American industrial power. She also has a cultural icon here, Mae West, to, to show that she's not leaving out um, uh, American popular culture as well. Now, this building here, this is Federal Hall, and it was kind of a symbol of Wall Street. Um, and if you look very closely at it, let me make it bigger for you. You'll see that she's superimposed on here a graph. This is a sales graph. And it's weekly sales in millions. It represents uh, the US economy. Um, and it, it's actually uh, cut out of a newspaper or a magazine. So this is really not 
solely a painting. It's all, it's kind of a collage because of, of this. And, and down at the bottom, uh, there are collage and there are newspaper images as well that I will show you. But so here's Federal Hall and she's uh, kind of um, putting this right in the middle uh, of the painting, right? It's very, very important on par uh, with her, her dress, standing for her, her dress. And also next to Federal Hall, where it is actually in reality, is Trinity Church. And look at what she does here. She has in the window of the church, there's a cross. You see it? But around the cross is an S so that it makes a dollar sign. And I think what she's trying to say here is that the, the church is really all about money, too, that it's been corrupted uh, just the way other institutions in the country have been corrupted corrupted by capitalism. Frida and Diego were members of the Communist Party, and these were their ideas. And also look at how she's got this red cord or ribbon that links the church to uh, the symbol of Wall Street. Again, um, uh, reinforcing that idea that the church uh, is just um, is more interested in money uh, and its own survival rather than the people that it's supposed uh, to serve. Uh, she also shows us down here at the bottom, and this is also where there is um, a lot of uh, 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 the collage effect here. You have a bread line. This was just from a from a, a newspaper or magazine. You have soldiers marching here. Perhaps a, she's being very prescient and kind of saying that um, uh, maybe war would be on the horizon. She she may have known that more than she she knew even. And then also here, look at here, this is also another symbol of New York City. This is the, the newly opened, newly uh, constructed and opened George Washington Bridge here. And she also has here, you know, like tons of, of, of garbage just piling up on the streets because this is, this is what she is saying about the, what she feels is the state of America and the state of American politics. But she's also really just uh, expressing her desire to go back to Mexico. She wanted to go back. And Diego was having fame and popularity in the States when he was making this uh, mural and he wanted to stay. He didn't want to go back. So she is expressing that. Um, and in fact, um, one of the interesting things here with, with her dress hanging here, there's a, um, it's on a line, a clothesline that is connecting a toilet and a loving cup. You see that? And Frida said that was because she felt in America people were just obsessed with sanitation and sports and nothing else, no other <laughs> pursuits. So this is her, her way of saying that as well. Um, she also called the United States Gringolandia, you know, not, a, not, a, not a very positive thing, but um, she wanted to get back to Mexico. And she said about this painting, when someone asked her what it was about, she said, I may be in America, but only my dress hangs there my life is in Mexico. So this is her, her statement, her manifesto, um, and it's one of the reasons why um, I think she has uh, had so much popularity recently, a little bit too much, and a lot of uh, Frida Mania has become very commercialized, of course, which is interesting given her, her uh, um, ideas here about that. But um, we do love uh, Frida Kahlo, and uh, I, I certainly do. And this is one of the, re this painting is one of the reasons why. So thank you for joining me. Oh, I just wanted to put this up here to show you <laughs> another interesting thing uh, about Frida. But I also want to invite you to um, sign on to my uh, Facebook page, uh, uh, my Art Talks Facebook page. If you go to um, Facebook and in the search uh, box, you put in Art Talks, Janet Mandel, uh, several different Art Talks will come up. But this one with this logo, that's mine. And if you uh, join that, I, I put these talks up on there. And I also put other, other things that I think will be of interest to people who uh, love and appreciate art. And I've also put all of these talks up on a, um, a YouTube channel, and I really invite you to, to go over there and subscribe to it uh, so you can see uh, these little mini talks, hopefully staying under uh, 10 minutes or so, um, so that uh, you can enjoy them and tell your friends and, and keep us busy during these, uh, during these dark times when we're staying at home and we need things to stimulate our imagination.
So thanks very much for joining me and uh, come back again soon when I'll another, another uh, couple of days, I'll have another uh, art talk for you. So thanks again and uh, see you next time. Bye-bye now.